is Red from Loving Life Hitch Stuff. Join us today at the Hershey RV Show inside our Intech Terra Oasis. Okay, so we're inside the Terra Oasis, which is made by Intech. The best part about this is aluminum frame that they make with an aluminum cage, and then everything is built on the inside of that. So it's cage construction. It's not box on top of frame construction. Really cool, makes it nice and lightweight, really great for towing. Has that tilt forward design, as you can see, with this huge three-ply laminate front window. It's like a car window here in your Terra Oasis. Uh, gives you a beautiful view out here. Great cross ventilation with windows on both sides. Has a huge dinette that we really, really love. Lots of room to, to sit and chill, put your feet up. The table does rotate. So you can spin this in any direction, making it easy to get in and out. You don't necessarily have to scooch all along. This also, as you know, will uh, turn into a, uh, a um, sleeping area. There are cushions that go to cover over the tabletop here. So you can push this down into a uh, nice sleeping area. That's ducted air conditioning. And are you gonna keep the light out when you want your privacy? It's got a big, beautiful pull down shade up here in the front. Cabinetry up above, huge. Goes all the way deep into that brow. So you got lots of room up here in the front to store great items. And really cool bungees, keeping your cubbies up here in its nice spot. You got a max air fan over top with the rain sensor right over here. Keep that air moving around. Four speaker system for your sound. And this has a great kitchen setup here. You have this big, beautiful stainless steel farmhouse sink with a pull down sprayer. Gives you great uh, access to be washing your dishes, so on and all that great stuff that you would want. A Dometic two burner stove. I love these hard uh, tops on the stove, the grates on top. That is one of my favorites, and a convection microwave oven. You have storage above in your dining, in your kitchen area here. This one, because this has a solar uh, package set up on it, it has a uh, additional uh, fuse box here, your solar controller, your inverter switch, and your reed, because this one comes with the additional solar. But if you didn't get it added solar, this would be a storage area as well. Your uh, range top fan and light and some great storage underneath here so underneath here you have a nice spot red always says where are we going to keep our shoes and where are we going to keep our garbage can well this one has a beautiful spot to put a garbage can without a doubt and this would be your tank for your hot water here look down here at this floor because we love this floor it's a woven material that is used to uh in the marine industry uh easy to clean up Feels really good under feet. Great stuff, really love it. And this runs from side to side, front to back, including in all the storage areas. We have a nice storage drawer on this side, extra ca counter space, and a great big giant cabinet that we have down here. Cool thing about this cabinet is you have pull out drawers. So you don't have to rummage through all your stuff, slide it out, pick out the items that you need from inside. Excellent spot. One of two TVs in this unit. This one up front pulls out so you can see and watch in your dining area. I love this. It's going to be where your fuse box is, right up here. Your fuses and your battery switch. So your battery disconnects. So when you're in storage, you want to kick this bad boy off so you're not draining down on that. Moving further into the kitchen, bring you into the nice fridge, freezer. Nice big fridge and freezer on a Norkel. 10 cubic foot, 12 volt. Plenty of space. You have ducted air conditioning and heat. You can see from the ducts down here. Now, and so I'm five foot eight and I have to stretch to touch the roof in this bad boy here. We move underneath the lowest part in here and I can still touch more comfortably, but I'm gonna say this is probably a good six foot four six foot five so absolutely no issues walking through even if you're taller on the right hand side we have our command control center and our uh, jensen entertainment center so you have obviously water pump your tank heaters your line heaters your water heater and your water heater gas and electric so you can run the water you can run your water heater on gas or electric 
you have tank heaters and a line heater. So what that means is underneath your tanks are enclosed, they have heat, uh, heat access to them, so that will extend out your uh, season. Not sure 100% if this is a four season, but if not, it's certainly three and three quarters, maybe not in Alaska or Fargo, North Dakota, but pretty much everywhere else, I think you'd be good to go. Moving further back, you see, we're gonna move into the washroom area here. This air conditioning has a, what they call a cool dump. So you open these extra vents and it drops a lot of cold air straight down. Absolutely amazing. Left side of this area brings you into your shower area. As you can see, you have a nice vent overhead, a shower wand on a rod, and a, a nice little uh, shelf here at the bottom. You can sit and or uh, put your stuff. Now, again, I'm 5'8", this is way over my head, and if I needed to stand up in the cubby, I'd be good to go. Little pockets here for storing your shower items. Um, this is obviously all uh, set up really nice. And all I can tell you is the only thing I wish this had was even if it didn't open, just a window. Um, but again, not a deal breaker for me. And the cool part about this is instead of being a wet bath, it gives us a nice dry bath. So on the dry bath side, you have a nice storage compartment overhead. Nice big window in here that does open and with shades. You have a, a um, ceramic toilet, push, foot flush. You have a nice storage compartment underneath your sink here. And two cubbies here with the bungees to hold all your stuff in. Its own light and its own ventilation. And if you notice, it is also air conditioned. And heated down towards the floor. The black one down towards the bottom has got to be a heat dump. So you're going to get both has a power outlet in here so if you need to hook up a shaver or hair dryer or any of that cool stuff you're good to go moving, moving further back into the bedroom we uh we're going to go over the controls here so inside the bedroom you have your dometic uh, controls on the wall here for your air conditioning and your heat has multiple zones and multiple uh settings so you can push more air back here if you're sleeping you can uh, have it evenly balanced uh, uh, all that great stuff that is connected in here as well as a max air fan max air fan right over the bed with a rain sensor so that will shut off if need be you have bedroom lights accent lights you look up over here there's this really cool blue light and that travels throughout the trailer you have accents the same in the front uh, so you get that nice soft and main lights turn off all the lights in the other side there's a really cool sliding farmhouse door on a magnet as well so you can get some privacy and see it cuts down a massive amount of noise so if you have a guest or grandkids or whatever sitting up in the front sleeping up in front you can get that privacy or maybe you just don't feel like making your bed that day but you're good on this side we have a nice big wardrobe the best part about this they give you hooks and the clothing rod runs this way so you could hang your shirts suits dresses or whatever sideways so you have plenty of, of uh, room to hang uh, long items as needed in the coat closet. Underneath the coat closet, again, you have a few more bins with the bungees down here. Very nice. All this help hold stuff in. I would recommend using some sort of uh, uh, flexible or cloth holder on that so that you can uh, keep everything in and out like we do on our Tab 400. You have matching his and hers cabinets on the side of the bed. Also d dual USB ports and a 110 and a draw. Nice big draw for keeping uh, nighttime stuff on the sides of the bed. Again, more speakers for your Jensen sound system. You have three cabinets overhead. Not super huge, but certainly more than large enough to hold clothes, you know, uh, for traveling. And that holds true on the other side. There is additional TV here in this side of the, uh, the unit that does rotate out, as you can see, so you can watch it from the bed. Another set of cabinets here. Plenty large enough to store additional clothes for any of your trips that you want to take. Another giant uh, overhead with the bungees. And again, bedroom light control switch is on this side, so you can turn the lights off in the bedroom. 
your power ports and everything else as well. You also have touch lights for reading. Single touch gives you more of that soft blue. Hold it, turns to white. There is additional storage under the bed here. Gas struts help you lift it up. As you can see, this is a nice huge area here. Uh, you have access, that's your water pump and stuff tucked in the back there. So that part is not a storage, but the remainder of all this is storage. And those are the two cushions that you would use to make that into a lounge area um, and or that other sleeping area in the bed. This is a true queen size bed. 60 by 80, plenty of room, and uh, feels like a pretty nice, firm, I would say it feels like a memory foam mattress based on my butt. So in the entranceway, this has an automatic awning set up here so you can put it in and out. It has a wind sensor on that awning. So when that awning is out, as long as you keep your power on, that sensor gets activated by too much motion and it's going to pull that awning back in, uh, saving you from a lot of damage and trouble. You have all your control for your main lights, dinette, cabinet lights, um, porch light on the outside, awning light, and front accent lights are all located here. You also have dual USBs and a GFI, so this would be a great spot if you had a coffee maker, or Keurig, something like that, plug it in right here, um, and it'd all be great. So let's go check out the outside. So the Terra Oasis comes with the option of having either a storage area in this area and or you have the option of having a slide out kitchen. And it is open, magnetic latches, and here is your slide out kitchen. You have a nice grill, flat grill top here and a Norkel fridge cooler that you can actually adjust all the way down, turn this thing into a freezer for your ice pops in the summer if that's what you want. This is a great height for cooking and you also have this table. This table comes off and actually goes over the top of your, uh, your fridge here and slides all back in so it uh, has its own built-in storage spot. Now you can opt to not get this and this becomes a straight pass through all the way through. Overhead you have lighting here which is great, they actually give you a LED light right above where you're cooking and a nice big cool uh, dually uh, awning, smart awning, so you're not going to have those arms sticking down uh, where you can bang your head. And you have your external hookup for your low pressure gas right there. And if you look at the back of this thing, beautiful LEDs, you know, pre-wired for uh, rear camera right there, license plate hookup. Now the opposite side of that pass-through storage, if you can get it as a pass-through, and if you still do the kitchen, you still have a great option to uh, have a good amount of storage left over here for uh, your items that you would need. Again, your magnetic latches, you have your hookups here for your city water here, and also uh, direct pour for potable. And below that, Intec does a uh, pressure system with a quick connect with a coil hose with a sprayer so you don't have your traditional dual knob uh, outdoor shower it's more of an outside sprayer but uh, seems really nice I kind of like that feature not much of an outside shower but you do want to wash things off as need be running back you have a connection here for you out if you were in a um, you have connections here if you are in a RV park and you have cable access or if you're mooch docking off a friend you can just unscrew theirs and use theirs and your 30 amp hookup here. Side is pretty good. You have your vents here for your suburban uh, furnace. This is the back side of that kitchen uh, vent. I have a hard time reaching it and you would need to move those little plastic pieces so that doesn't flap uh, and you'll be able to open that but uh, I'm not the tallest guy in the world. And here is the back side of your hot water heater. And here are some of those great windows that we talked about uh, made by Lippert. These do open and they have built hard, uh, built in hard screens inside. So keep those bugs on the outside. An additional port here for more solar. Like I said, this particular one has the option of solar added, but you had the option if you wanted to just utilize a uh, suitcase, that's a great thing. Now, this is a one-piece fiberglass roof, and this is a fiberglass cap in the front. Uh, put, put on in one piece, cut down on all those seams. Gives you that great tilt forward. Again, like I said, the glass is 
uh, laminate glass like on your car and it does have a cover that snaps on and covers over this whole area and on the front here you can't see it right now but there's a beautiful blue light that lights up over this behind here you have your dual propane tanks tucked in this nice area and then one thing I'll point out here this cool aluminum frame these frames are made by Intec and these are reinforcement areas so you can put a weight distribution hitch on and uh, make sure that that's nice and secure so no rust in this thing because it's aluminum and it comes with a uh, tongue jack so this tongue jack help you get it on and off your uh, tow vehicle super really well made really really cool design lots of room inside this is absolutely an amazing camper one of the things I really love about the Terra Oasis is the screen door the screen door is separate nice gives you that uh, protection you want to keep that open for additional ventilation and not have to worry about all those bugs getting in and hooks right up there on this nice big beautiful door access really really enjoy that again on the outside here you have an additional outside storage area magnetic latches and this is accessible like I said through the uh, underneath of that right side um, dinette seat and it's a nice area fit lots of great stuff in there as needed the five things I love about this trailer that farmhouse sink that's fantastic I love the floor in this thing it's comfortable easy to clean and it just looks so pretty I love how sleek this trailer is it's really high class and the minute you walk in you can't help but notice that this is quality um, I love the dinette that dinette with that view is fantastic and my fifth favorite thing is the outside kitchen perfect height Great for cooking outdoors. 100, 150 years old. Hi, I'm Chris LaMarche from Stoltzfus RVs and Marine in Westchester, Pennsylvania. And if you'd like to talk about owning an Intech product, please give me a call at 484-307-5156. I'd love to take good care of you. Hope you enjoyed our tour of the Intech Terra Oasis. If you'd like to see more tours, check out our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And remember, when you're after loving life, do it, kid stuff.